mainly the thin film is um, is a secondary uh, product, uh, much easier to produce, much more competitive in terms of cost, uh, but also with the lower efficiencies. So when thin film reaches around uh, 10 to 11 percent maximum efficiency. For the crystalline modules that are the ones that Ginkgo Solar is an expert in production, we are reaching around 15 or 15.5% 15 efficiency. The process of production is completely different. Monocrystalline comes from an ingot that is growing up from the silicon that is crystallized in one block, one ingot. This is what monocrystalline is, one crystal. The polycrystalline is more like a pie, so you crystallize the silicon also from liquid to solid in a kind of a cubic. So it's a, it's a, it's a pie that then you, you have to cut into pieces and then the cost is cheaper, it's lower to produce. But efficiency is also high and then we can, we can more or less compensate the higher, slightly higher efficiency of monocrystalline cells with lower cost for polycrystalline cells. But mainly the applications are either residential market, like in Germany, where 90% is residential for the roof installation, so you can get electricity uh, from, from your surface of your roof, or either industrial applications, that is mainly for the, uh, a lot of warehouse, a lot of uh, in factories, where they want to take uh, also profit on the surface, on the roofs, but also on the ground. And then finally we have the utility scale projects that are ground scale utilities, very large uh, the hectares, big amount of surface with a lot of installations, mainly connected to the ground in order to provide electricity to the grid. It's not really very different. Uh, it is true that uh, customers that are installing on the roof, they prefer to have smaller modules because they are easier to manipulate and to connect into the installation on the roof and for the ground they prefer bigger size modules. But between technologies is exactly the same applications. You can use monocrystalline or polycrystalline for both residential or utility scale projects. The efficiency is going up and this is an advantage of this uh, of this uh, technology improvement. So we, we are right now, at, as I told before, 15.5%, 15.7%, uh, but we are sure we will be reaching very soon levels of 18% uh, for the module efficiency. For the cells, we are already at 18.5%, but always there is a loss when you put the glass in front of the, of the cell. In terms of price, if efficiency is going up, the price is going down. So what we are pretending, what we're expecting is to reach the price of the grid of conventional energies. So this is what is called the grid parity, when you can sell solar energy by the same price of any oil or, or any other uh, polluted uh, energies that are not so nice for the environment. We are very near to reach grid parity. In fact, uh, it depends on the cost of electricity and there are some countries where we have seen a lot of rates of electricity prices like Italy for example or like in Japan or like uh, some places in the US like Hawaii. Price of electricity is very high mm -hmm. and it's becoming higher and higher. So then we are very near to reach grid parity because the, the cost of, of the companies for solar energy production has been going down. So modules has been reducing the prices. So when this crosses, uh, this curve cross, in the, that point we reach grid parity, and probably next year in many countries we will see that you don't need any more subsidies from governments. Probably at the second half of 2013. Going forward in the future, when the subsidies are going uh, sl slower reducing, but still is quite attractive. We will reach the grid parity when you can use your, your own electricity produced with your panels in the, on, the, on the roof. So then the applications are very, uh, very widely known. You can use, uh, if you have enough space on your roofs or, or in your surface in your garden, you can use all this electricity for your own consumption. 
So not only to in inject in the breed, but especially to use it in all the uh, in, um, all the consumption you need at home, uh, like uh, refrigerators, like the, uh, the 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 oven, like the, the electricity itself, and the and the light. And this is where uh, we can not only reduce cost, but also help the environment by using a renewable energy that is uh, clean with the uh, environment and reducing the exposure to the uh, conventional and, and not so friendly uh, sources of energy.